Today I wanted to invite you to grab a coffee with me. So I have this roast from, I think it's called Vermont Roasters, uh, which Kira got in Costco. And it's this giant bag of really dark roasted beans. Normally I drink light roast, so I'm excited to see how it'll taste when I go back. Grab a coffee and come hang out with me. I want to talk about art. I want to talk about life. I don't know. Figured we'd have some casual conversation today instead of my usual like how to or deep dive into some type of concept of drawing. That doesn't mean we won't get into some of that considering it's like all I think about. Today we're watching a time lapse of yesterday's stream which I was doing on Instagram and YouTube. And it's just so nice having that community. You don't often have that type of conversation with a drawing practice or like a studio practice. You know, you have to go out of your way to record these videos, to like set up a streaming setup. And most of the time artists like myself, uh, we just make paintings and show them on walls. So it's nice to be able to kind of have a different way of doing this. Each of these are a frame of an animation, and I keep starting new ones, thinking that, like, oh, it'll give me more room to, like, practice and play with different techniques and different ideas. And it does, but also I'm wondering how many of these animations am I actually going to go back and finish. When I was a kid, my mom used to get so upset because I'd have... I'd staple together all these books. I'd like fold over a bunch of paper and staple them all down the side. And I would start drawing on the first page. And then after I got like three pages in or four pages in, I'd have like a bunch of frames and comics written out. And I would just abandon the comic book altogether. And now my mom has this whole folder filled with these half completed comic books of characters and worlds that I was building that I just never went back to. And that trend has followed me throughout all of my artistic career, through college, through which got me into a little bit of trouble when I was an illustration major. And then through my like artistic career to now, there are so many works. Like what's great about what I've been doing this past year is I spend maybe an hour or two on a painting or a piece and I just kind of work it until I get to a certain goal and then we move on and the next day, the next day in stream or the next piece of art that I post on Instagram is going to be another new like creation. But I've started to find a way to like make this abandonment thing that I do a really positive, inattentive practice. It might have something to do with the coffee that we're drinking. Um, what kind of coffee are you drinking right now? Because I think that's an important part of this video, is that you get to drink some coffee or whatever other type of morning beverage. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll label it like a morning beverage, even though I drink it at all times of day. But in the States where I'm from, it's most often a morning beverage. So, you know, are you drinking orange juice? What other kinds of morning beverages? I feel like milk would be one. Yeah, what what else is a morning beverage? Can you tell me some? It's it's nice because I'm talking to you like your chat, uh, but your my YouTube comments section. So if I ask you a question, just answer it in the comments and we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> I will respond. Or you could come by and chat it later. Uh, Buki just attacked a ping pong ball and took it all the way across the room. It was crazy. But this drawing was maybe a little more disjointed than normal because I had so many extra like inputs. And I kind of love that about drawing on stream is that there is so much information just coming into me that when I am creating the drawings, they kind of take on their own life because I'm thinking about certain things that you bring up in chat and then I start making a drawing decision that I wouldn't have if I was thinking in the order that I normally am. So like the order of operations in a drawing is really important for the most part if you're trying to work representationally. Luckily I like abstraction a lot, like it's a huge part of the goals I have for this channel is to teach about abstraction and maybe that's a part of it, like making a disjointed order of operations is a really important piece. <laughs> Good job, Books. Good job. 
Yeah, Buki's just like playing soccer around the house. It's great. <laughs> um, it's a ping pong ball that I made with a group of students a couple summers ago where we had a tarp and I brought a uh, leaf blower and we blew the tarp so that and covered it in paint so the ping pong ball got covered in all of these little specks of acrylic paint it was just kind of like blowing over the whole tarp and creating these undulations that caused each ball to get its own little uh, its own little painted surface and it was fun it was really nice we were outside it was a big group of students this was before covid so like we could be outside in a big group and like do collaborative things so that's a huge part of this channel too is i just love collaboration and i love having us all interact in some way this is the ball that we created on that tarp and it was just fun and now books likes to play with it Maybe what we can take away from our coffee today is that I don't finish most of the things I start and I'd say like 80% of them are left abandoned. And that last 20% is a really powerful number of creations because if you didn't make the rest of it, then you'd never get to those like finished products, those items that you really value and that you're proud of. If you liked this conversation and you wanna learn more about drawing and maybe see me draw live and interact, then please think about subscribing and liking this video so you see more. Um, I'll see you soon.